All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is going to be the review of the Bosch F220-P dual photoelectric and heat detector on a conventional system. So, first off, I just want to say this. For anyone using the Silent Night 5208, um, it doesn't have any Bosch products listed under compatibility for smoke detectors. This one is perfectly compatible with my panel. I it, I can almost guarantee it's not going to be compatible for any of the Intellinite series, but for their conventional systems, I think it should be all right. Anyway, let's dive right in. So you can see it's on a very um, large base. It's a very very large base. Right here is the LED indicator. It is a bicolor LED. Meaning a normal operation, it will flash green, and in an alarm or trouble setting, it will flash red. So this one, it flashes green twice, like it goes doot doot. And so that means the first green means that everything is powered up and testing, and the second green means that the clean me is set up and everything's working all right. And then once it changes to red, that either means a trouble or an alarm condition exists. So we're going to start off. Um, this is the kind of smoke detector that I like where the chamber or the head comes off of the base. So like if you, if you press down and you turn, you take the, you can take the chamber off, the panel will go into trouble. And this way you can take it off and clean out the chamber or something. And then when you're done, it goes right back in. And it goes right back to normal. Um, so like compared to like the ESL over here, um, where it's like the whole whole unit comes off and there's just a thin plastic base on it, this is the actual Sensic technology comes off and then you can do all your wiring right there. Um, so that's pretty much general overview of the outside of the device. Um, I won't be testing the heat detection feature on it because I cannot get it to work on this particular head. I sat there with a hair dryer on high for like five minutes and it just wouldn't do anything compared to like that one where it takes like a minute, minute and a half to get it to go. This one just did. And I mean, it was getting hot. It, it would not go. But it says on it, um, hold on. Sounds sad because I want to talk about the base. Um, as it does say on here, uh, automatic fire detector head with integral heat detector for open area protection. And you can see heat detector rated 135 degrees. I cannot get it to work. But so that's pretty much the head. This is the actual F22-P. This is the actual device. The base here, I am not a fan of how this base wires up. I don't like how far away that these terminals are. Because when you have to put the end of line resistor in, it doesn't reach and then you have to get a little jumper and stuff and it was just kind of a pain to wire up and it wasn't really labeled nicely in my opinion uh, so yeah that's pretty much the inside of the base uh, we'll snap the head back on. and uh, uh the panel is in walk test so whenever I activate it it'll just reset automatically and uh, there's no smoke verification turned on for this. And the alarms for it are the Gentech Commander 2. I have two of them up. One horn strobe, uh, code 3 low volume, mechanical horn, 75 candela. And then remote strobe at 75 candela. Both set on Gentech sync. So the strobes will flash at the same time. So um, I think we're going to start off with magnet testing it. In the instructions, it wasn't totally clear, at least how I understood it. It said... Um, place magnet next to LED to test alarm. So in my head, I said, okay, next to LED. I put it here, and it just sat there and did nothing. Didn't even show any sort of response of anything. And I was like, all right, so this isn't working. So then I, I went on YouTube, found some stuff, and found that you put the magnet here. To me, that's next. To me, that's like below or on the side of the LED. I don't know. So that's where you put the magnet. To test it, it's not labeled at all. Like over here, um, this one to magnet test it. I don't know how well you can see it, but it says test. This one isn't labeled. 
at all, but I say let's go ahead and test it. So we'll put the magnet on. Alrighty, so we just magnet tested that. And now I'm going to set the camera down and get some smoldering paper going so we can actually do a smoke test. Alright, so I got my smoke. You can see, we'll put it right under the detector. Now we wait. It went so fast before. Come on. All right, so I'm going to set uh, the camera down, go put out my paper, and I will be right back. Alright, all right. so that has been my, uh, I guess, review, review of the Bosch F220-P dual heat and smoke detector. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.